We've got a patient coming in today with a really painful callus. Uh, this patient comes in periodically for us to trim down a spot on the bottom of her foot. So if we flip around and take a look, we can see this really large callus underneath the ball of her foot. And this is due to excessive pressure. So uh, excessive pressure localized right on that area causes the skin to become hard and thickened. And that's what a callus is. We call this hyperkeratotic tissue. So in order to provide some relief, what we do is we trim it down periodically, and that usually works really well. So I like to use a 15 blade. I know there's been comments about maybe using a 10 blade, which is a bigger blade, but I find that I have more control with a smaller blade. And what we do is we are just carefully peeling away some of this dead skin. And a lot of you may ask, how do we know that we're not getting into you know, the actual skin, that we're just in the layer of dead skin. And a lot of that is just practice. A lot of that is just feel. We can kind of feel where the dead skin layer is. So we kind of just let the blade find its path. And the dead skin is gonna be softer, so it's gonna allow us to just kind of glide through that layer of dead skin pretty easily. And a lot of the times, these have a core. We call this a central keratin plug. You can kind of see this area of darkened tissue. That's the core of this uh, callus. And for this, the patient has not been numbed uh, because again, this is a, a layer of dead skin. There's no pain to the patient as long as we're being careful with how we remove it. Now we're coming in with what's called a dermal curette. So this is a round blade and it allows us to kind of scoop rather than cut. And it's a great tool to get that core of the callus. So you can see all this dead skin that is able to just be scooped away. All right, and this is a really sharp tool, so you don't wanna to put too much pressure. You just kinda of let the tool do the job. So you just kinda of go around. And you can actually see the, the color change as you get closer to the actual um, subcutaneous tissue and the dermis and just working those areas until we start to see that color change. And that's about it. You can now see that the whole bottom of the foot is smooth and one even surface, whereas before it was really pronounced. So that pretty much does it.